Um, let me just make something clear to those that were here to speak on the wildflower. Um, this, <laughs> I, I don't, I, maybe the inquirer um, has not done its job properly, but we've actually been trying to buy this property now for about six, maybe seven years. So it's not something that we have overly rushed into. Um, we have had tremendous input from other boards uh, on, in the city concerning this property. It has been part of our goal setting high priority for at least the minimum of the last four to five years. And I think what um, we have been remiss about, however, uh, and you certainly have a right to request everything that you requested today, is we have probably been remiss in not explaining that um, once the property is acquired, then we will go through uh, charrette or committee meetings where the public is notified and can come forward and have input into what is actually going to take place on the property. Uh, so that hopefully will give you some um, uh, faith that you will have plenty of opportunity to speak up in a combined effort with many, many, many other people that are very interested in seeing this property come forward. Um, it, the Sun Sentinel, I don't know where it exactly got its dock uh, uh, ideas from. I'm not quite sure. What was the other thing that they said? Um, docks and what else? Uh, I think there has been a lot of discussion about dining. I do, I do agree that that has been a, a, something that's been presented up here by many, many people that do not have the opportunity to live on the intercoastal. Uh, everyone cannot afford to do that. And so people are very interested in the ability to go someplace in the city of Boca, in downtown Boca, as this will be a connective tissue to to the downtown and to the redevelopment of the downtown. But how is it going to be developed exactly? Uh, it is true that we don't know the answer to that, but we're going to know the answer after we have tremendous input from those citizens in the community that wish to come forward and be participate and be a part of the planning process. So having said that, uh, we're going to now move on public hearing, we will take the ordinance 5118 singly uh, and then move, of course, to resolution 164. So um, I'm Ma looking for Madam a motion. Chair, I joyfully move to adopt ordinance 5118. Is there a second? With pleasure, I second. And for discussion, I would like to take this opportunity to talk about this a minute. Uh, I don't think so, you can give me all the blame if, if that's where you are or, or some of the credit. But I have been here for 15 years and for 15 years I've been trying to get the city to buy the wildflower. And there's, everybody has motives, everybody has agendas, everyone has their own opinion about what they wanna see, et cetera, et cetera. I, I personally do not have an agenda. I, I, that's not exactly true. I have one agenda. I've lived here long enough for 30 years to know that everyone cannot afford to live on the intracoastal. I am aware that everyone cannot afford to have a boat. I am aware that there are thousands and thousands of people in this community who have no access whatsoever to the waterway. And these people pay their taxes and live in this community and abide by our rules and our decisions just like everyone else does. And the idea that in our downtown, now we certainly have beautiful property, don't misunderstand, we have, we have uh, Spanish River Park and we have other very, very beautiful properties. But we do not have any waterfront that we could incorporate into what really is the, the most eastern part of our downtown, except for this particular property. And so while it has been a long time in coming, uh, it has been um, certainly worth waiting for. 
and I look forward to having meetings or charrettes or whatever it is that we will do to make a decision on exactly what the city intends to do with the property, but whatever that decision ultimately is, I do not question or doubt, but that it will be done in the most best of good taste as all of our parks in our city uh, have been addressed through all of the years. So thank you, Ms. Johnnell. I, you know, we can go into goal setting next year and it won't be the first thing coming out of my mouth. Uh, but maybe the property next door, maybe, uh, you know, I'm not done yet, so uh, who knows. But anyway, um, having said that, uh, if there's any other discussion or comment, feel free before we cast our vote. If not, Ms. Saxon, will you please call the roll on ordinance number 5118. Majus? Yes. Malay? Yes. Haney? Yes. Scott? Yes. Welchel? Yes. And resolution number 164, 2009, I'm looking forward